The largest warship ever built, the USS Gerald R. Ford, is a true floating fortress that elevates naval power to new heights, designed to face the challenges of the 21st century. This giant of the seas gives its name to its class, combining nuclear technology and a monumental structure. With its impressive 333 meters in length, capacity to accommodate up to 90 aircraft, and over 100,000 tons of displacement, it stands as one of the greatest achievements of modern naval engineering. Its magnitude not only ensures supremacy over the seas, but also symbolizes its naval power. The USS Gerald R. Ford is the first of its class, the Ford class, a new generation of aircraft carriers after more than 40 years, which will gradually replace the Nimitz-class carriers. This ship brings significant advancements in performance, such as the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, which replaces the old steam catapults, freeing up more space below deck. Arguably the largest and most advanced warship in the world, the Gerald R. Ford can perform 25% more aircraft launches per day and operate with 25% fewer crew members compared to the previous class. The ship offers unparalleled efficiency, with the U.S. Navy estimating it will save about $4 billion in operational costs over its 50 years of service. With an incredible length of 333 meters and a width of 77 meters, the USS Gerald R. Ford has a displacement of approximately 100,000 tons and a crew of 4,500 sailors, in addition to carrying 90 planes and helicopters, sailing at a speed of 30 knots, around 55 kilometers per hour. It is equipped with two state-of-the-art nuclear plants that produce up to three times more energy than its Nimitz-class predecessors. It operates like a floating city, offering food services, medical care, waste management systems, and even desalination plants. The Gerald R. Ford class incorporates 23 new systems, including an advanced nuclear propulsion system with two reactors and four shafts, as well as an electrical power distribution system developed by Northrop Grumman. The USS Gerald R. Ford is the first aircraft carrier of a new class in the U.S. Navy, named after the country's 38th president, Gerald Ford. The ambitious project, initially called CVN-21, was approved by the Department of Defense in 2006 with the goal of modernizing the fleet of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers and creating a ship with greater operational capacity. This innovative project aimed not only to surpass its predecessors, but also to set new standards of efficiency. Additionally, the CVN-21 sought to significantly reduce construction and operational costs, ensuring a more powerful naval force prepared for the challenges of the 21st century. The USS Gerald R. Ford was officially commissioned in 2008, with construction beginning in 2009 at the Newport News Shipbuilding Shipyard in Virginia. The keel of this grand ship was laid on November 13, 2009, and the ship was christened on November 9, 2013. The USS Gerald R. Ford entered service replacing the USS Enterprise, which was decommissioned in December 2012 after 51 years of active service. After a series of tests and delays due to the implementation of new technologies, the imposing USS Gerald R. Ford joined the fleet as the largest aircraft carrier and warship ever built, also being one of the most advanced in the world. It strengthens the United States' military strategy, ensuring its global presence. Launched in 2013 and commissioned on July 22, 2017, this Colossus of the Seas represents the pinnacle of modern naval engineering and a symbol of American naval supremacy. The construction of the USS Gerald R. Ford was a long and challenging process, marked by high costs and technical difficulties. In 2008, the U.S. Navy signed a $5.1 billion contract with Northrop Grumman Shipbuilding. Construction began in 2009, with the keel of the new warship being laid on November 14th of that year. The Ford was assembled from 500 modular components, 
with notable construction feats, including its four bronze propellers, each weighing 30 tons and measuring 21 feet or 6.4 meters in diameter. On October 11, 2013, Newport News, Virginia, witnessed a historic moment. After a long construction process that began in November 2009, the dry dock began filling with over 100 million liters of water, marking the launch of the USS Gerald R. Ford. This event symbolized the birth of a new era for the U.S. Navy, highlighting the colossal magnitude of this warship. Despite its grandeur, the USS Gerald R. Ford faced various technical and operational obstacles. The ship encountered propulsion system failures, problems with the electromagnetic catapult, and challenges with aircraft elevators. In 2013, construction costs for the USS Gerald R. Ford were estimated at $12.8 billion, 22% above the initial 2008 budget, with an additional $4.7 billion allocated for research and development. However, by March 2018, persistent difficulties with the nuclear propulsion system and elevators raised costs to an impressive $13 billion, making the USS Gerald R. Ford the most expensive warship ever built. The delivery deadline, initially set for July 2019, was extended to October of that year. To address the performance issues, the U.S. Navy launched an extensive testing program. These problems not only drew criticism regarding the ship's efficiency, but also resulted in high costs and delays, underscoring the challenges of integrating advanced technologies into such an ambitious project. Nonetheless, these difficulties highlight the complexity and innovation of the largest aircraft carrier ever built, positioning it as a landmark of modern naval engineering. On June 18, 2021, the carrier underwent its first full ship shock trial, enduring a massive underwater explosion of 18 tons of TNT, 87 nautical miles away, to test its combat resilience. On August 8 of the same year, the USS Gerald R. Ford faced its third and final shock test. Although it was formally commissioned into the U.S. Navy on July 22, 2017, the ship faced many challenges before being declared combat ready in April 2022, following the successful completion of its testing phase. This colossal aircraft carrier marks the beginning of a new generation of warships, symbolizing the future of naval power. Capable of carrying up to 90 aircraft, including fighters, attack planes, and helicopters, the USS Gerald R. Ford plays a crucial role in the United States military strategy. At the heart of the aircraft carrier, sophisticated aircraft perform a variety of missions, equipped with advanced technology. The aircraft carry air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, laser-guided bombs, and electronic warfare systems. The F-A-18 Super Hornet is essential for air superiority and ground attacks. The E-2D Advanced Hawkeye provides precise and efficient aerial surveillance, while the EA-18G Growler, an electronic warfare version of the Super Hornet, neutralizes invisible threats. MH-60RS Seahawk helicopters play vital roles such as anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, and transport and the most advanced fighter on board the Gerald R. Ford, the F-35C Lightning. With its stealth technology, it is virtually undetectable, ensuring a significant tactical advantage. The F-35C, the carrier-based version of the F-35 designed for aircraft carrier operations, is essential for securing air superiority in combat missions, operating undetected by enemy radars due to its stealth technology. Leading the new generation of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers in the U.S. Navy, the Ford class marks a significant leap in power and technology. Commissioned in July 2017, the USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78 is the pioneer of a planned fleet of 10 carriers. The second ship in the class, the USS John F. Kennedy CVN-79, was christened and launched in December 2019 with delivery scheduled for July 2025. Following this, the USS Enterprise CVN-80 is set for commissioning in 2028. And the USS Doris Miller 
CVN-81, in 2032. The fifth ship, whose name has yet to be announced, is expected to enter service in 2036. These aircraft carriers incorporate the most advanced naval technologies, promising significant improvements and ensuring technological and operational superiority. So far, five of the ten planned carriers in the Gerald R. Ford class have been confirmed, each promising to further elevate the standards of naval power and efficiency. The USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78 represents the pinnacle of naval technological innovation. Among its key innovations is the electromagnetic aircraft launch system EMELS, which replaces traditional steam catapults. Its two nuclear power plants provide enough energy to operate the EMELS, as well as the Advanced Arresting Gear AAG, which enhances the safety and efficiency of landings. The aircraft carrier is equipped with a state-of-the-art missile defense system, capable of detecting, tracking, and neutralizing threats. Additionally, it features automated systems and predictive monitoring technology that reduce costs and increase operational efficiency.